Smile and learn. Hey, friends. Today we're going to continue learning more facts about light. Do you know that light has many properties? Come with me to learn more. Let's start by talking about the main properties of light, which are reflection and refraction. Reflection. It occurs when light rays called incident rays collide with an object and later when these rays bounce in another direction, they are called reflected rays. We can differentiate between two types of reflection, specular and diffuse reflection. When every incident ray is reflected in the same direction, specular reflection occurs. This property allows us to see ourselves reflected in a mirror or shiny surface. I look great today! <laughs> However, when rays are reflected in different directions, this is called diffuse reflection, which is what allows us to differentiate some objects from others so we can appreciate every detail. Diffuse reflection allows us to know, for example, that this is a ball, and we can differentiate it from other objects. Now let's look at another property of light, refraction. Have you ever wondered why, when you put a straw in a glass of water, we see it differently than when it is outside water? This happens because of refraction. When light rays pass from one medium to another, for example from air to water, they change their speed and direction. This is how refraction happens. The light rays that reach an object are called incident rays, and the light rays that change their trajectory or velocity are called refracted rays. This property causes us to see objects differently, like when we look at an object through a magnifying glass. Refraction is the property we use to create lenses, which you can find, for example, in eyeglasses or camera lenses. Refraction is also the property that allows white light to be broken down into different colors. This phenomenon can be seen using a prism. When light rays reach the prism, they are broken down into different colors that make them up. Isaac Newton was the first to achieve this with an experiment done in the 17th century. Yes, it was that long ago! Can you think of any natural event where this phenomenon occurs? Rainbows are formed when sunlight passes through raindrops. Thanks to refraction, white light is converted into a colored beam containing red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Wow, we have learned so many interesting things about light, haven't we? I hope the next time you see a rainbow, you'll remember me. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.